Three, two, one, action. My name is Curtis Ryan Woodside. I'm a filmmaker and Egyptologist from South Africa. I will be making my move to Italy permanent, where I will be living with Filippo, after more than a year and a half of not being able to get back. Gigi Lamoroso. I have visited Tuscany a couple times before, but this time it's a little different. Now it's about settling in. So come with me on something that I don't usually do, a vlog, and see what we get up to almost every week. The olive tree in the back garden was filled with these gorgeous fruit. So I decided to give preserving olives a try. I even found a recipe that allows me to get preserved olives in one week. People in the Mediterranean and the Middle East have been making olive oil and eating olives for thousands of years. See, there's also some bad ones, I don't want to get them. Curtis just said that I'm short enough to fit under the olive tree and to shoot a nice footage. <laughs> Originating around 6000 BC in Mesopotamia, the olive spread throughout the Middle East and the Mediterranean. In ancient Greece, the word oil simply referred to olives. Many cultures around the world see the olive as different symbols, most as a symbol of peace, but in Rome it was seen as a symbol of glory. In ancient Egypt, olives were also used as a great trading point for wine, and we even see Akhenaten giving an olive branch to Nefertiti. Okay, so now that we have the olives all picked, uh, you will see that there are a couple that are not great. Uh, some of them will be a little shriveled, broken open. You don't want those. So here comes the tedious task of literally going through every single one and uh, throwing out all the bad stuff. Leaves, stalks, um, anything that we might not want. So we'll just chuck all the bad ones aside. But this seems to be a very easy recipe. Um, it's only meant to take about a week. Uh, so let's give it a try. So you'll see if there's just any ugly looking ones like that, that are, you know, a bit overripe or whatever, just clean them and then separate obviously the good ones from the bad ones and just discard of the bad ones. And then also take out any of the stalks that there might be. Okay, then when we have our olives all sorted, cleaned, well, separated, not cleaned. Now it's going to be time to clean. So you just need your strainer and like a bucket or a bowl, big bowl. And just empty your olives into here. I'm very excited to try this um, because Donini is actually very well known for making olive oil and growing olives. So to try this in the area where it's known for, should be fun. We're going to wash them now. So after we've separated them and everything, now we're going to run them underneath the tap and just clean them out because I did find a couple spiders in between. So um, yes, very important to clean it. Prophet Muhammad even said, eat olives and massage the oil into your bodies as it comes from a holy tree. After we have now cleaned our gorgeous little dark spheres of olives, we're just going to put them back into now a cleaned bowl. And once they're in here, they're all cleaned as you can see, looking all gorgeous. Now we're gonna just cover them with water and we leave them for three days. After our three days in the water to rehydrate 
our olives. Then we're going to treat them with the vinegar and the salt water mixture that we're going to do. Um, but that's only going to be in three days after these have rested. So let's wait a few days. All right, so our olives have been sitting inside the water for three days, rehydrating. You'll see some of them will have like a little slit on them, which is where it's soaked in the water and the skin is pop popped out, which is good because that's how it's gonna soak in the salt and the vinegar. So we've rinsed them off, emptied the water out. Now we've put them back in our bowl. We're gonna put in uh, two uh, and a half cups of apple cider vinegar and then we're going to put in one cup of salt and then we'll just mix it all together and leave that for about seven to eight days and after the seven to eight days we should have our olives ready but in that time we will be turning them about three times a day just to make sure everybody gets coated nicely so we'll just add in our apple cider vinegar just make sure you get it all the way nicely around. Um, like I said, this is a recipe I'm trying. I'm not an expert, so we're going to see how this works. But from what I can see, it works nicely. So we'll put in our one cup of salt all the way over. Make sure you put your vinegar in first so that the salt sticks to the olives. And then we'll just move this around a little just to make sure everybody is nicely coated. And then just store this inside in your kitchen for seven to eight days. And after that, we should have olives and then we'll be ready to put them into jars with our water, salt water mix. Like I've said, I am not the expert on making these kinds of preserved olives. I'm learning this process just as you are learning it from watching me right now but if you have any questions about the process write them in the comments and I'll try and answer them if I know the answer or I'll try and find the answer for you now we wait now it's been around seven to eight days that my olives have been sitting in the vinegar and salt solution um, and it's basically been extracting all of the water that we put into it so now the olives are ready to be eaten and also to be jarred so what I've done is I've taken some water I've taken the jars that I'm going to use I've filled them with water and then put them into the pot um, also with the same amount of salt but half of the jar into the water because obviously once we put that in it's going to fill up so you're not going to need all of that water but I'm also going to save some of the vinegar and salt solution that they've been sitting in and mix that half into the jars so that we have some of that vinegar mixture still inside the jars so let's uh, get bottling also what I'm doing, I am going to sanitize the, the jars. So I'm just gonna add some boiling water from a recently boiled kettle into the jars. You could go for the traditional route of just putting them in like some water and putting them into the oven, but this gets the job done just as much. And they're not, the olives are not gonna last for six months because we're gonna eat them sooner. We just want to bring our pot up to the boil and stir it so that all of the salt will become dissolved into the water and then we are ready to mix that with half of our vinegar solution and bottle the olives. The water is boiled now, we've got our olives, we've got the jars which have been sterilized. Now I can start bottling. I don't know if they're all going to fit into those two jars, but we'll just place them into other, into other jars. Um, and I'd also like to give Maura and Leonardo um, a jar, so, you know, they help with the garden, we do the olives, it's what neighbors do. So uh, yeah, we've got our water, we've got the jars. All right, um, I want to try one. Philly, do you want to try one? I really want to. Okay. 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 Try. Try. I do, you I go, go first. first. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mm. They taste of real olives. <laughs> They're really. I was gonna swear. Mm. They're really good. Yeah. <laughs> like really good. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's why I said these are not gonna last like three months in the jars because no. we're gonna eat them before. Action! <laughs> Grazie. Okay, so we have our bottles which are now sterilized and extremely hot. Um, so, let's start. Okay. This might get a little messy. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. And it's okay if you get a bit of the, the liquid that they've been sitting in, because like I said, I want to use some of that in here. So let's try and get as much as we can into our jars. Okay, I think that's all that's gonna fit. We take some of our Oopsie. We'll take some of our liquid and you see how the liquid has gone this beautiful purple color. So we will put some of that in and now we take our boiled salt water and we pour that the remainder in exactly like that and then to seal it we take a little bit of olive oil and we just put that right over the top and we seal it. Now, uh, you can also take some herbs and put some herbs inside just to get it, uh, have a little more flavor. For this one, I'm gonna do it plain. So we're gonna seal that. We'll just fill up half of the jar. I mean, and they taste they taste better than olives that you buy in the shop, if I am so bold enough to say so. Um, so let's get a little more liquid. I think that will do. I'm gonna now take a little bit of oregano, dried oregano, and put that in. We want quite a bit, it's a lot of olives, remember? So put that in and now we put the salt water and that will wash them all down. So, okay. And then to seal it, we take our olive oil, we pour our olive oil over, just like that. Maura. Oh, I Okay. Welcome in Italy. Okay. So, so. Okay. <laughs> I hope Alan Bros has opened today. I hope so too. Yeah. It's a beautiful day and it's warm. It's like a real summer day. Mm. I don't think I'll need a jacket up there. I think so. You think so? Yes. Why? Because it's a, a thousand meters oh. high. Okay. <laughs> if it's close, we come back because it's not far and we go at the link, yes. Yeah. Love there. Love there. She's such a little lady.
and look what Maura made us for, for dessert. Grazie, Maura. Come si chiamano? Pece. Pesche. Pesche. Peaches. Peaches. Sweet peaches. Yes. Well, they're not actually peaches, but it's like chocolate and something. Alkermes. Yeah. So, ciao. Ciao. I would like to give a big thank you to my patrons for not only supporting my Egyptology work, but my filmmaking in general. And thank you to all of you for watching and supporting my videos.